Hey, welcome to a new video. Christmas is a religious holiday celebrated worldwide and known for bringing families together, exchanging gifts, decorating Christmas trees and homes, and enjoying special Christmas meals. In this enchanting time of the year, a variety of Christmas characters also come to life. From the beloved Santa Claus to playful elves and Rudolph the Reindeer. Today we're going to show you 20 Christmas characters captured on camera in real life. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. Rudolph the Reindeer is known for leading Santa Claus's sleigh on Christmas Eve, guiding the way through misty and stormy weather. Rudolph is usually depicted as a young male reindeer with a red nose and a friendly expression. But if we're to believe these video clips, Rudolph may have been captured on camera in real life as well. Rudolph has supposedly been filmed several times, all in the vicinity of the Waterford area. Additionally, he was also spotted in Phoenix Park in Dublin, Ireland. Dozens of reports came in about this red-nosed creature. Just as the reports reached the authorities, the reindeer disappeared suddenly, but not before park rangers managed to place a tracker on it. What was so strange about this reindeer was the fact that every time it was spotted, it was hundreds of miles or kilometers away from its last location, and in a shocking short amount of time, too. This led to the suspicion that all myths and legends might be based on a kernel of truth. But how could this reindeer travel such distances? Could it really have been Santa's reindeer, and can it fly? What do you think? Number 19. In Christmas folklore, elves are small magical beings known for the role as Santa Claus's helpers. They're often portrayed as cheerful, diligent, and skilled craftsmen. They're typically depicted as small humanoid creatures with pointed ears, colorful clothing, such as green or red outfits, and pointed hats. However, in this video, an elf seems to move on its own at night when everyone's asleep. After a father received disturbing concerns from his children that the elf was behaving strangely, he set up a camera to investigate. The results, as you can see, include an elf coming to life, and not only appearing to jump around, but even seemingly to fly. Number 18. You've probably seen the videos of Bigfoot or the Yeti where it's clear that someone's just wearing a costume. However, this next video shows a snowman emerging from behind a snow mound. How eerie is that appearance? And what would you do if this snow monster came towards you? Could this have been the Yeti? The Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman, is a mythical creature, reportedly living in a snowy and mountainous area, mainly in the Himalayas. It's a popular figure in folklore and legends, particularly in cultures of Nepal, Tibet, and Bahutan. In this video, we see a large ape-like creature with a furry white coat bending into the snowy surroundings. Snow monsters like this are often depicted with huge feet and sharp teeth. Reports and sightings from people who claim to have seen the creature stated it was between 6.5 and, and 10 feet, or 2 and 3 meters tall. Number 17. This next story is about the Grinch captured on a neighborhood camera while attempting to steal Christmas decorations. The Grinch is a fictional greenish character created by Dr. Seuss. He's known for despising Christmas and trying to spoil it for residents of Whoville, the nearby town. However, in this peaceful town, the holiday season took an unexpected turn when a heartless thief decided to steal someone's front yard Christmas decorations. The woman had adorned her front yard with elaborate Christmas lights and inflatable decorations, creating a magical display. All of the decorations, including a Santa Claus with reindeer, were stolen. Thanks to a security camera, the entire theft was captured on video, showing a thief nicknamed the Grinch entering her yard. The Christmas lights came to life as the thief quickly collected the decorations and hid them in the car. The audacity of the Grinch's actions were evident. Although he hoped to get away without any trouble, he underestimated the determination of the community. According to the woman, her family never filed a police report, so this video is the only evidence of what the Grinch did. Number 16. This video begins with the camera focused on an elderly woman surrounded by gifts and wrapping paper. But then, a figure emerges from behind the couch. Many people believe that this figure is one of Santa Claus's beloved elves. As soon as he notices the grandmother, his eyes widen in surprise, and in a quick movement, he retreats swiftly. His hasty departure adds an element of mystery to this incident. Elves are often depicted as small and mischievous beings, and are seen as Santa Claus's tireless helpers. Some other people believe that the figure in this video is a Christmas dwarf. These magical beings play an essential role in preparing and delivering gifts to children worldwide on Christmas Eve. They're known for their craftsmanship, as they meticulously craft toys and presents throughout the year in Santa Claus's workshop. Santa's elves are usually portrayed as small in stature, with pointed ears and rosy cheeks. They wear vibrant green clothing, often adored with intricate patterns and symbols. Their attire reflects their connection to nature, and their bond with the magical world they inhabit. Do you think the family actually captured a real Christmas dwarf on camera here? Let me know in the comments. Number 15. Number 15. Maybe Toy Story was right, and maybe it's not such a good idea to let your kids sleep next to an elf on the shelf doll. 
These are the same dolls meant to sit on shelves and then report back to the North Pole. However, this particular doll seems more interested in terrorizing everyone around than fulfilling its duty. While the little girl sleeps peacefully, the elf doll slowly creeps to her side. It goes back and forth a few times, almost as if it's conducting tests to see if the little girl wakes up or not. Over time, it becomes bolder. Just look at those creepy, too bright, and too alert eyes. The camera goes off and then back on, revealing how far the elf has come. It ended up next to the girl with an eerie look on its face. Number 14. An unknown man originally attempted to capture a bright star, but it turned out to be something much more magical. As the star becomes brighter and starts moving, the man's camera zooms in, revealing something that nobody initially believed. Some people believe it was a passing meteorite. However, others say it was none other than Santa Claus himself, guiding his sleigh with his faithful reindeer. This account of a chance encounter has left viewers amazed and filled with wonder. Sensing something extraordinary is happening, the man quickly adjusts his camera to zoom, capturing Santa Claus on camera. However, some people claim it was merely a falling star surrounded by a blooming glow. But as the zoom is increased further, the object takes on a distinct shape, and we possibly see Santa's iconic sleigh led by a team of reindeer. Number 13. Can you imagine skiing or exploring a remote and cold environment and suddenly hearing footsteps behind you? This man was startled when a menacing gaze of a Christmas demon named Krampus suddenly leaped towards him and landed in the snow. Krampus, also known as the Anti-Santa, is a legendary figure in Central European folklore often referred to as the Christmas Devil. This half-goat, half-demon creature is known for punishing naughty children during the Christmas season. Krampus's origin can be traced back to German and Alpine folklore. He's considered the dark companion of St. Nicholas, appearing on the night of December 5th, known as Krampus Nacht. While we're not certain if this was indeed Krampus captured on camera, encountering such a monster while skiing must have been quite terrifying. Krampus is often depicted with black, shaggy hair, cloven hooves, and sharp horns protruding from his head. Additionally, he carries a bundle of branches or a whip with which he beats naughty children. In some versions of the legend, he even carries a sack or basket to take away particularly mischievous children. Number 12. In this security camera footage, we see evidence of Santa Claus approaching a house with a bag full of gifts in his hands and a flashlight. Normally, Santa Claus seeks out the chimney entering a house. But in this case, Santa appears more like a burglar attempting to sneak into a home unnoticed on Christmas. Not many people would think twice if they saw someone dressed as Santa Claus moving around like this. In this second video captured in Canada, we witness Santa approaching the house and climbing in through a window rather than using the chimney. And we can also see what he does when he enters the beautifully decorated home. However, he doesn't seem to be stealing things. Instead, he appears genuinely interested in delivering the gifts he places by the decorated tree. According to the family that released this footage, this video was initially longer, but elves supposedly deleted the footage. Do you believe this? Number 11. Can you imagine hearing a knock on your front door and then coming face to face with this creature? Most people would probably faint on the spot, right? In case you're not familiar with Mari Lewid and why it terrifies people with just one glance, let me tell you what it is. Deeply rooted in rich Welsh folklore is a mysterious figure known as Mari Lewud. Mari Lewud, which means grey mare in Welsh, is believed to have originated from ancient pagan customs that later became intertwined with Christian to which later became intertwined with Christian traditions. It's usually represented by a horse's skull adorned with decorated ribbons and mounted on a long pole. Mari Lewud holds a deep symbolism within Welsh folklore, representing the spirit of winter and the transition to the rebirth of spring. It's often associated with the celebration of the new year and other festive occasions. The Mari Lewud tradition involves a group of people, often dressed in costumes and masks, carrying the decorated horse's skull from house to house. It also includes a battle of wit between the group and the residents of the house, with improvised verses and challenges exchanged. Number 10. Number 10. This video captured by Jonathan shows a breathtaking spectacle unfolding in the night sky. What initially appears to be a meteor streaking through the darkness quickly turns into the realization that it's something more extraordinary. Suddenly, vibrant colors resembling the cheerful hues of Christmas presents emerge. People gathered to watch the light as it moved through the atmosphere. The enchanting display has led many to speculate that this heavenly phenomenon is indeed Santa Claus himself delivering gifts to children around the world. Some viewers attribute the event to a natural occurrence, suggesting it's a meteor entering the Earth's atmosphere. However, others hold on to the belief that this is a rare glimpse of the magical journey Santa Claus makes on Christmas Eve. The colors emanating from the streak of light are seen as evidence of gifts being tossed from the sleigh, enhancing the enchantment of the sighting. If Santa Claus was truly traveling at this speed, it could explain how he moves so swiftly on Christmas. Number 9. 
The elf has become a popular phenomenon and Christmas character in recent years, appearing in many countries during the holiday season. The concept revolves around a scout elf, who watches over children's behaviors and reports back to Santa Claus. Each night, the elf returns to the North Pole and finds a new spot in a house, creating anticipation for children every morning. Numerous videos have surfaced online showing moments when the elf appears to move. This specific video features a man discussing the elf's strange behavior, when suddenly the doll starts flying around the room. The mysterious nature of the video and the unexpected movements of the doll have reinforced the perception of the elf as a possessed object. Or, as this man theorized, perhaps the elf's time was up, and he decided to fly back to the North Pole. Number 8 the Swiss Alps are known for their breathtaking beauty and ski slopes that attract adventurers from around the world. However, amidst the snowy landscapes and picturesque cable car rides, a remarkable incident occurred that left even the most seasoned skiers in awe. A sports enthusiast from Mexico named Scott had a keen interest in skiing and decided to celebrate Christmas in the enchanting Swiss Alps. While filming his journey with breathtaking scenery as the ascent of the cable car through a tunnel-like structure, something extraordinary appeared in his footage. Did you see it? No? Well, let me show you again. Just as the cable car entered the tunnel, the camera caught a glimpse of what seemed to be a group of reindeer flying by, with none other than Santa Claus himself on board. Switzerland has a rich history of Christmas folklore interwoven with centuries-old stories and traditions. One of those legends is that of Santa Claus, the Swiss counterpart of Santa Claus. It's believed that Santa Claus visits children on December 6th, accompanied by his faithful companion, Schmutzli. Children leave their shoes outside their doors, eagerly anticipating his arrival. He then rewards them with candy and small gifts if they've been good. Number 7. From ancient myths to cherished traditions, the Russian Christmas season is steeped in a rich cultural heritage. The next person captured Santa Claus flying by in his famous sleigh while driving his car. However, Christmas in Russia is a bit different. One of the most beloved figures in Russian Christmas folklore is Babushka, a kindly old woman who plays a similar role to that of Santa Claus. According to legend, Babushka encountered the three wise men on the way to the newborn Jesus, but refused to join them on their journey. Regretting her decision, she embarked on her own quest, seeking the newborn child to offer gifts. To this day, children in Russia eagerly await Babushka's arrival, hoping to receive gifts during the Christmas season. So, the fact that Santa Claus was captured on dashcam here is a bit unusual, but perhaps he was just flying through Russia on his way to another country. Christmas in Russia is celebrated on January 7th, according to the Julian calendar. This date marks the end of a 40-day Advent period filled with fasting, prayer, and reflection. On Christmas Eve, families gather for a festive meal known as the Holy Supper. The table is decorated with a white tablecloth symbolizing purity and traditional dishes like kutcha, a sweet grain pudding, and borscht, a beet soup. Number 6 in the peaceful town of Bowen, Texas, a creepy phenomenon occurred that caught the attention of both locals and visitors. Nestled in a store is an elf doll with the disturbing ability to track her every move. The doll's eerie gaze has left many questioning its origin and purpose. A man noticed this doll, which appeared to be possessed, began to move and constantly kept an eye on him. Fortunately, he had his camera to film the moment, because otherwise, no one would believe it. To his disbelief, he observed that the elf's eyes followed his every movement throughout the store. The possessed elf also has a sinister appearance that sends shivers down your spine. Unfortunately, there isn't much info available about this specific doll and why it's dressed in red and green. Its small bead-like eyes, seemingly imbued with a supernatural presence, emit a disturbing glow that would frighten most people. Some people in the comments claim that the malevolent energy of the doll has the power to influence the atmosphere in the store. What do you think happened next with the elf doll? Do you believe that the man took it home? Number 5. The North American Aerospace Defense Command is a joint military organization between the United States and Canada, responsible for monitoring the airspace. While the primary mission is focused on defending the airspace, they are also known for their annual tradition of tracking Santa Claus on his journey around the world on Christmas Eve. The organization's, tradi the organization's tradition of tracking Santa began in 1955, when a misprinted advertisement in a local newspaper directed children to call a phone number to speak with Santa. However, the number actually belonged to a similar organization responsible for monitoring airspace. Instead of turning the children away, the servicemen on duty that night decided to provide them with updates on Santa Claus's whereabouts. They used various advanced systems to track Santa as he made his way around the globe, including radar, satellites, and even fighter jets. They also collaborate with other organizations, including the official Santa tracker from the North Pole, to gather info about Santa Claus's location. In addition, they provide real-time updates on social media and share interactive features that allow people to follow along. How cool is that? Number 4. This man was reporting from the parking lot of the local Walmart in Texas, United States, when something magical happened suddenly. 
At that very moment, there was a thunderstorm brewing, and then something shot by, which the man accidentally captured on camera. The timing couldn't have been more perfect, not only because he happened to be filming at that exact moment, but because at that moment, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer apparently flew over the area. With his iconic red nose, Rudolph was captured in a special place in the hearts of both children and adults. This reindeer, along with Santa Claus, makes its annual journey to deliver gifts around the world. What makes this incident even more incredible is that he was live-streaming the event. The man couldn't believe his eyes, because the chance of Santa Claus and his reindeer flying by right after a big storm is a remarkable occurrence. Number 3 The Gingerbread Man, also known as Gingy, is a small cookie and, according to many, one of the best characters in the Shrek movies. He's made of gingerbread, decorated with icing and candy, and speaks with a distinctive accent. But if we're to believe the following video, someone's managed to capture him on camera. Baking and decorating these cookies is a beloved activity that brings families together in a cozy gathering. In this video, however, the character not only comes to life, but also has a whole army of different shaped cookies that have come to life as well. But let us tell you the origin of the Gingerbread Man. The story can be traced back to the Gingerbread Boy, a book published in the 19th century. Believe it or not, in the original story, the character also comes to life and runs away from various characters, including animals and humans, who try to catch and eat him. Number 2 the photo you see here is every child's dream, looking out from their window and discovering that Santa Claus is on the way to deliver gifts to all the children. It's said that this photo was taken above Australia near a suburb called Islington. You might wonder if Australia also has Christmas stories similar to Krampus. Christmas culture in Australia is influenced by its unique geographical location in the Southern Hemisphere, where Christmas falls in the summer season. However, Australia has its own distinctive Christmas traditions and celebrations. One notable Australian Christmas tradition is the event called Carols by Candlelight. This tradition involves people gathering on Christmas Eve in parks, stadiums, or public spaces to sing Christmas carols by candlelight. Islington is a suburb in Newcastle, New South Wales, so Santa Claus in the photo was probably on his way to deliver gifts. Number 1 the Grinch is a fictional character created by Dr. Seuss, and first appeared in the 1957 children's book titled How the Grinch Stole Christmas. He's a green, grouchy creature who despises Christmas, leading him to plan to ruin Christmas for the residents of Whoville. However, the character we see in this video isn't exactly the same Grinch we know, but he looks like someone intentionally trying to scare people. Unfortunately, the context around the video is not entirely clear. All we know is that we see someone on camera with an axe who looks like an even more sinister version of the Grinch. What's your favorite Christmas character? Have you ever encountered one in real life? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.